Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video we're gonna subdivide the metahuman and fix any error that may, uh, may occur like grooms, morph targets and uh, whatever, right? So I already have uh, the metahuman imported, which is a Tore, and I'm gonna duplicate uh, the face uh, skeletal mesh, right? I'm gonna name this. I'm gonna name it uh, subdivided. Subdivided. And uh, we're gonna open it. And in order to subdivide it, you need to enable a skeletal mesh editing uh, plugin, which is this one skeletal mesh editing tools you need to enable this to have uh, the option to subdivide and uh, we're gonna go to the form displays and uh, we're gonna select texture to the map this worked pretty good we're gonna select the flat uh, subdivision type and the subdivision of one we don't want to over exaggerate the more subdivision steps you add the more time it takes to do any other custom work on it right so we're just gonna keep it uh, simple and uh, here we have the accept commit uh, the results it's hidden bit behind this uh, post process message and we're gonna click on it and now that we have this subdivided let's save it and we can close uh, the editing tools we don't need them and uh, now let's move forward so the first thing we we need to look into is uh, the morph targets right so let's open the original uh, face mesh and uh, let's uh, search for uh, just for demonstration purpose let's search for a morph target a corrective morph target and open it and select the deltas this is how it looks uh, this corrective morph, morph target this these are the influenced vertices by it right so if uh, we go to the subdivided one and open the corner pull left and open it and select deltas we're gonna see a problem right uh, because of the subdivision the vertex count and order and everything changed right so this uh morph targets are not uh, affecting the correct vertices anymore so what we can do is uh go back to actually let's close this let's uh, go back to the original uh meta human face let's close everything and we have to select all the morph targets right these are all the corrective morph targets now to proceed uh, transferring the corrective morph targets uh, to the subdiv subdivide, uh, subdivided uh, uh, metahuman, select all morph targets uh, from the beginning, from the first one, holding shift to the uh, and click on the last one, and uh, go to copy. Uh, here we have several options, and uh, I will explain it. I will explain them to you. First, we need to add our subdivided mesh and uh, make sure you select automatically overwrite because you don't want to confirm over uh, to overwrite for hundreds of uh, corrective morph targets. Uh, you can leave the threshold uh, the default value. You can leave the normal incompatibility threshold the default value, which uh, will make sure nothing uh, gets flipped. You can select match material IDs, uh, which uh, will uh, make sure that uh, the correspondence of vertices in the uh, uh, non-subdivided and subdivided metahuman skeletal mesh uh, are based uh, on uh, the same material. You can leave match by UV uh, unselected. We don't need to match by UV. We have a lot of additional uh, vertices in uh, the subdivided uh, mesh so we don't need this and the uh, for smooth since uh, our target uh, has like three four times more uh, 
more vertices and we need to smooth otherwise everything will look uh, very raw right so uh, select what I tested and uh, it looked uh, that uh, it works uh, fine is uh, to have a smooth type of uh, delta this will make sure you you smooth only the deltas and uh, a smooth strength of uh, 0.6 this worked very fine and uh, smooth iterations of five. So uh, uh, these are the options that I, I've tested and uh, they worked uh, pretty good. So uh, let's uh, let's move forward. You have to press OK. OK, it took like an hour and uh, 10 minutes and 15 minutes, something like this to transfer uh, the morph targets to the subdivided mesh and uh, now let's proceed with the grooms. We need to see if grooms uh, work uh, correctly, right? So uh, let's first assign uh, our subdivided metahuman to to our blueprint. We open the blueprint and select the subdivided uh, skeletal mesh, and we can check the viewport. You will see that the grooms are messed up, but uh, we can fix them, right? Uh, we need to go to eyelashes and uh, double click on the binding asset, select as a target the subdivided uh, uh, metahuman and uh, as a source, uh, the original one. This worked, uh, I don't know if uh, there is a better way to do this, but uh, for me, this worked uh, pretty good. So we're for the fuzz and uh, now the eyebrows the hair Now the mustache. And uh, finally the beard. Okay, now uh, the grooms uh, are fixed. Uh, don't forget to save everything. Just in case. Grooms are still better, so... You don't want to crash anything. So now that we have the grooms, we can go ahead and test things out, right? So let's check again if we have the subdivided mesh assigned. We have it. And uh, let's uh, proceed and add our metahuman to the world. And let's create a level sequence so we can test uh, our uh, animations, right? Let's open the animation sequence and add our metahuman to the tracks. And uh, let's test things out. Let's decrease a little bit the camera speed. And uh, let's test. Works pretty good. Uh, let's uh, test. The, this is the jaw open okay let's move the eyes a little bit they work pretty good let's check the other way works pretty good as well let's check uh, the nose wrinkles all controls uh, seem to work pretty good Okay. And I think this is it for this video, guys. Uh, if you want to, if um, uh, due to the transferring of uh, the corrective blend shapes and the smoothing that we applied to them, if uh, something uh, 
doesn't look right or you want to add some more details you can always do it by customizing uh, your corrective blend shapes for your metahuman i have another video for that you can find it uh, uh, on uh, our youtube channel and uh, i think this is it for this video and uh, yeah see you around